Well, most of you folks know that this guy, our friend Buddy Pittman, uh, has retired from West. This is his last day, and as much as I know he hates tributes, we uh, just can't let him go without taking a look back at a wonderful career here that spanned more than, this is hard to believe, three decades with best wishes along the way from some familiar faces. Take a look. It's been a lot of fun, and uh, we always enjoy coming back here. Buddy Baker gets into the rear of Jeremy Mayfield, and the dance is on. Mike Garvey trades a little paint with Dale Jarrett. Garvey gets the worst end of it, and everyone's ducking for cover. Buddy, I can't believe you're finally retiring. I mean, here I've worked for all this time to finally get you somebody to carry your camera. Fresh out of College of Florida State, you took me under your wing and taught me broadcasting Buddy Pittman style. Welcome to Speed Weeks 94. And then gets airborne, barrel rolling seven times. Let's take another look at this mishap from our turn three camera. I know you've been around for a long time. Hey, buddy, after 33 great years of racing, um, we're going to miss you. Thanks for all your hard work and commitment to not only NASCAR, but just sports in general. Indiana State All-American Larry Bird will sign a Big Bucks contract. We had a chance to see these horses work out this morning at the Ben White Raceway. To make the event even more spectacular was the fight between Yarborough and the Allison brothers. Oh, buddy, you're going to be missed so much. And I think back to 20 years ago when we started this whole magic thing up there, you were. Myself, my family, and I know all the Central Florida is going to miss you dearly. And really thankful to have been your friend and, and have known you. Richie Petty gets nudged coming out of turn four. He gets the e-ticket ride. The first time I ever used e-ticket ride on Sports Center, somebody came up to me and they said, yo, e-ticket ride, I like that. I like the vivid imagery. I almost took the credit for it. But it's Dave Stacy who gets the e-ticket ride as he goes up and over the dirt bank and rolls down into Lake Lloyd. No, my man Buddy Pittman back in Orlando, e-ticket ride, trade and paint. Two of the least favorite words in NASCAR racing, and that is restrictor plates. Last year, the UCF Knights set a new attendance record for Division II football teams. We really appreciate what you've done for this program. He's been a supporter of high school athletics in this town for many, many, many years. It seems like every time you we were there, we won, so uh, I don't know what we're gonna do if you're, uh, if you're not there. We always turn around, there was that familiar face. Always a smile on it, always very positive. And you were class and integrity personified. Is that good enough now? Can I stop talking about the guy? I mean, geez, I barely knew the dude. <laughs> now you guys settle down over here. All right, quick story that reflects the influence Buddy has had on people through the years. It was back in the mid-70s, Buddy already a veteran here at WESH, when he agreed to meet with a young kid visiting Orlando, fresh out of college, looking for some advice on getting into the business. As the story goes, Buddy stepped away from what he was doing, gave the young kid his full attention, encouraging with every word, assuring the sportscasting hopeful that the cream always rises to the top. Just a scant few years ago, Buddy was waiting to interview NFL owners at their meeting here in town when that same impressionable kid from the 70s tapped him on the shoulder and said, buddy, you may not remember talking to me so many years ago, but I remember you, and I want to say thanks. Tonight, that same impressionable kid wants to say good luck. Uh, I met Buddy. I'm Chris Berman of ESPN, by the way. I was not, a, there was no ESPN when we first met, and he was kind enough to give me some words of wisdom. I was going through Florida, trying to get some people to look at my tape, do you think you can hire this 24-year-old with long hair and a Louis Tian Fu Manchu mustache? And he had plenty of time for me, and he spoke to me about the business and gave me some advice on how to go about doing it. And at the end of that trip, oddly enough, I got hired at a TV station in Hartford. Shortly thereafter, ESPN began, and it's worked out okay for me, but it's worked out better for you, buddy, because you know what? You enjoyed your job every day you went to work, and it's hard. But you had a relationship in your area, in the Orlando area, when it was a cow town. And now, of course, it's huge and all sorts of people come through there. You stayed enthusiastic and you stayed enjoying sports and enjoying television. And you weren't too big way back when to give a helping hand to a youngster. So uh, I congratulate you on a marvelous run. And the folks in Orlando will miss you big time. You did go all the way, my friend. Very cool story. Come on in here, young man. You know, you have, over the course of three decades, three plus de decades, touched the lives of, of so many people. And I, I know that I can say on behalf of everyone here at West, those working right now 
and those that you worked with over the years, as well as the countless thousands of people who watched you for three decades. Thank you for touching our lives as well. I'm going to miss you, and we hope you come back for Speed Awakes, pal. Well, Thank you very much, pal. I okay. appreciate that. James, appreciate you got that. something for him, don't we you? We do actually have a little something from your friends over at the uh, Orlando Magic. There's a uh, Magic jersey number one, and on the back, you can buddy. see it is personalized. All this right. is uh, Buddy Pittman's <laughs> own jersey, so when you're rattling around the house, you can wear this thing and uh, <laughs> does a big Does a big 10-day contract come with this? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. That, that actually might be in this. Oh, so there, okay. take that, too. So, uh, but... Uh, Buddy, I, I want to just say thanks for, for being a man of strong moral character and being a, a great influence on the young people here at WESH over the years because a lot of them aren't quite so young anymore. But uh, wow. I, I really want to thank you for all you've done. Well, and you've said goodbye already. That. Is there anything you want to say to our fans here in the 20 seconds we have left? Well, first I want to thank you guys <laughs> uh, for uh, all of this tonight and uh, just thank everyone for uh, helping me through these 33 years. I mean, it's been a lot of fun and I uh, couldn't have done it without people who work here at Channel 2 and all of you out there in Central Florida. And so I just thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you. Enjoy your life. We'll see you soon. Okay. Thank you all.